Hi everyone, this is Emmy today. I'm going to show you how to crochet a hanging basket. So let's get started. I post videos on Tuesdays and Fridays and sometimes a bonus in between. Please subscribe and click the notification bell. You can slow down the videos by clicking the gear icon below the video. You can find all my patterns in my Ravelry store, over 2,000 patterns, and many of them are free. Or on Etsy, Hectanooka Patterns is my shop name there, and I have approximately 700 patterns. With a chunky yarn and a 9mm crochet hook, start with a slip knot. Work any number of chain stitches that you would like. I'm going to start with chain 25. Okay, I have worked my chain. And now I'm going to slip stitch to join, being careful not to twist the chain. And now I'm going to make the hanging hook. So I'm going to chain eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You can chain any number that you like. Slip stitch down in the same stitch. So here's what it looks like. This is going to be the bag. This is the hanger. Now I'm going to turn my work and I change eight. So I'm going to single crochet 12 times. One, two, like that. That's going to be the hanger. So there's the original chain for the opening up crochet in each stitch all the way around. To make a double crochet, yarn around the hook, insert the hook into the stitch, pick up the yarn and pull it through, pick up the yarn, pull it through two, pick up the yarn, pull it through two. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make one double crochet in each stitch all the way around. Okay, I worked all the way around and that's how it looks. Now at the end of this row you're going to slip stitch to join in the top of the chain two and you'll have to be careful at this stage to make sure you don't twist this circle. So I'm going to move the handle out of the way and I'm going to slip stitch to join over in that top chain two. And now I'm going to chain two, one, two, and I'm going to turn. I always turn when I'm working in the round because it's easier to insert the hook into the stitch from this side. And so I'm going to double crochet in each stitch all the way around. all the way around. Okay, I worked all the way around. And here it's how it looks from the front. And I'm going to slip stitch to join in the top of the chain two. Chain two and turn. Double crochet in each stitch all the way around. All the way around. Okay, I worked all the way around. There's the hanger. And I have three rows of double crochet. At the end of the row, slip stitch to join in the top of the chain two. Chain two and turn. And I'm going to repeat that row and then I'll come back and show you how to close the bottom. Okay, I have worked four rows of double crochet. So your bag should not be much longer than the opening. So now I'm going to start decreasing. So to start reducing, I'm going to 
decrease every second stitch. So I'm going to chain two, and that counts as a double crochet. So I'm going to start decreasing here. So yarn around the hook, insert into the next stitch, pull up a loop. Insert into the next stitch, pull up a loop. You'll have four loops on your hook. Pick up the yarn and pull it through three. Pick up the yarn and pull it through the remaining two. Double crochet in the next stitch. Decrease in the next two. And you're going to repeat that until the bottom is closed. Just keep repeating that until the bottom is closed. Okay, I've worked one round, and that's how much it has reduced. And I slip stitch to join, and I'm going to repeat that. So that's chain two counts as a double crochet. So I'm going to start decreasing in the next stitch. Pull through three, pull through the remaining two. Double in the next stitch. And I'm going to work all the way around. Okay, I worked another row. It's almost closed. Now I'm just going to chain one and I'm going to skip every second stitch. So I'm just going to go right over to that stitch and single crochet. And then skip that stitch, go right over to the next and single crochet. Skip single crochet skip single crochet skip and single crochet and now I can just slip stitch over in the other side like that and fasten off and there's the finished basket if you want to make a larger basket, you're going to start out with a longer foundation chain and still use that formula of the opening should be approximately where you start decreasing for the bottom of the bag. And that's how you can crochet an easy hanging wall basket. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.